Hi friends, this is Suresh Kunduru. In this video, I would like to explain about JSP API and scripting elements in JSP. In our JSP tutorial, so far we cover JSP introduction and advantages of introduct JSP and life cycle of JSP. Now I will see the JSP API and scripting elements of JSP. Yeah. In JSP API, we have two packages. First, JavaX dot servlet dot JSP. Second one, JavaX dot servlet dot JSP dot tag ext these two packages applied in jsp api first one java x dot servlet dot jsp package we have two interfaces and two classes first interfaces jsp page second one http page yeah some classes are there. This one JSP writer, JSP context, sorry, page context, JSP factory, JSP engine info, JSP exception, JSP error. These are our classes. Now, briefly explain about JSP page interface yeah we have two interfaces jsp interface and http jsp page First, jsp page interface according to the jsp specification all generated servlet classes must implement the jsp page interface it extends servlet interface Provides two life cycle methods of JSP. And same diagram. If you want to create any JSP page, it extends JSP page. Internally, it extends servlet. Yeah. In JSP page interface, we have Two life cycle methods. First one, JSP init, public void init. It is invoked only once during life cycle of JSP. When JSP page is required, display. Is used to perform some initialization operation. It is same as the init method of servlet interface. Yeah. This is JSP init method. Second method public wide JSP destroy. It is invoked only once during the life cycle method. JSP. When JSP page is destroyed, it can be used to perform some cleanup operation. These JSP init method and JSP destroy method invoked by the web container like servlet container. Yeah. And second interface http jsp page interface it provides the only one life cycle method of jsp http jsp page extends jsp page you will see in diagram http jsp page extends jsp page and jsp page extends servlet
we have one method in HTTP ASP page interface that is underscore ASP service method Still we have three lifecycle methods of JSP first one init method JSP init method and JSP destroy method and underscore JSP service method yeah this JSP service method invoked each time when request that is JSP page comes to the container. It is used to perform some request operations. The underscore signifies that you cannot override this method. Yeah, fine. These two interfaces and classes of Java X dot Charlotte dot JSP package. We'll see one by one further videos. This is something about JSP API. Now we'll see scripting elements. This scripting elements we have three tags first scriptlet tag second one JSP expression tag third one declaration tag we will see one by one JSP scriptlet tag In JSP Java code can written inside the JSP page using scriptlet tag. Yeah. Scripting elements. The scripting elements provides the ability to insert Java code inside the JSP. There are three types of scripting elements. First, scripting tag, expression tag declaration tag first the scripting tag is used to execute java source code in jsp this is the syntax of scripting tag less than percentage symbol something java code and close the scriptlet tag this is syntax of scriptlet tag yeah we will see some example displays welcome message html body this is html program save dot jsp extension then only our program jsp just out dot print come to jsp this is implicit object we will discuss later in our browser it displays just welcome to JSP this is simple program don't worry this form action these attributes we will see one by one for the videos Second one, expression tag. Yeah, in ex expression tag, if you want to print anything in browser window, you write in expression tag. Simple syntax is less than percentage symbol equal to some statement, output statement closing the expression tag so, you no need to write sop like system dot out dot println just write inside the <laughs> jsp this message will print browser window here uh, you no need to end with semicolon in expression tag
this is simple example we will see later and briefly and add declaration tag the gsp declaration tag is used to declare field and methods the code written inside the gsp declaration tag is placed out, uh, outside the service method auto generated servlet so it does not get memory at each request this is syntax of declaration tag just less than fastness symbol factorial symbol like fields or methods like end declarative tags now in scripting elements briefly if you write anything java code inside the script translation phase like jsp page to charlotte page this scriptlet what we are writing inside the scriptlet tag it directly goes to service method of servlet right in expression tag we can use both inside the service method and outside the service method if you want print anything in browser window you can use this tag and third one declaration tag generally in java class we have some fields some methods right if you want to declare any some fields and methods of servlet class you can write in declaration tag write anything code inside the declaration tag internally in translation phase it goes to outside the service method this is the main difference between scriptlet tag and declaration tag yeah this is something about jsp api and scripting elements of jsp thanks for watching this video subscribe